Hi, I'm Karen and this is Friends Faves. Welcome everyone. Good to have you here. We are filming live at Martetti Wines and I have Joseph here. He is the owner with his brother John. He is the winemaker extraordinaire and has 30 years of experience in the wine industry. Well that's what's so fun about being at your winery is that you actually make the wine right here. Yes. on the premises yes and I got to see part of it too which was really fun and help yeah you helped us you you did a lot <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your winery how did, how did you get started um, I tasted Washington wines in New York City uh, in right around 1988 or 89 and um, I literally said yakka what <laughs> um, because I didn't know Washington even had a state, let alone a place, um, uh, to grow wine. So um, I kept in touch with the winemaker, David Lake, at that time. And um, we uh, moved out here in 1992, right around then. I worked in the sales department at Columbia Winery. I never worked in the, in the, in the winemaking. Um, until 1997 when a friend of mine asked me to come and build his winery. Uh -huh. At that time, he said, why don't you make a little wine? So I decided to make two barrels. Well, two um, turned to seven. And I'm not really sure how that happened. It just sort of did. Um, and the, the wine was good enough to sell, which was um, a little bit um, weird for all of us. And uh, so I, I asked my brother John if um, we could do this for a living. And he said, by all means, yes, yes, we should, yeah, you, you need, it's time. Uh, I sold a house. I put everything I made up to that point here. It's all, um, I live here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and the rest is really history. We're, we've been in this building for two and a half years. I'm thrilled to be in Woodenville and to have a, a tasting room because now you can actually put the wine in your mouth and go, wow, Joe, you make great wine. And I, and, and thank you. Yes. And I'm very humble <laughs> at that. So uh, what was your first year that you, um, actually sold wine was it I think I see a poster over there 19 2007 yeah. was our first vintage okay. we had a, a hundred right. cases of just Sangiovese and we were lucky enough to have three barrels that were uh, designated as Reserva at that time and you see the Reserva on the other wall over there oh, okay great and it, it there's no more of that so uh, except for one bottle that we're gonna give away tonight so and the Sangiovese is your signature wine is it not it is I, I, I think Sangiovese is a grape that uh, is a little not understood in this country except when you go to an Italian restaurant and you order a glass of red wine 99 times out of 100 that's what you get yes so I think that it, it goes with food really well it really is the wine that made me want to make wine it, it it's a little bit of a problem child in the cellar um, but so was I uh, so so we have that in common Barbera is an Italian varietal that I I actually uh, very few people grow in Washington State so we had to go find it and that 13 Barbera is not only our first Barbera, but it's also the earliest red wine we've ever um, released in a, uh, for, for a, <laughs> I almost fell. Yeah, no, don't fall. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were tasting it in barrel like we do every, we, we don't release anything on a calendar. We don't bottle anything on a calendar. What we do is I, t I dip into the barrels and I taste each barrel once a month to see what, where the stage it is. It's a hard job, but I do it for you. <laughs> so the Barbera, about nine months in barrel, literally, we stopped tasting it and started drinking it. And everybody yeah. that came in, we put a siphon hose in the barrel and we put it in a, in a pitcher and we, you gotta taste this. So when we got to about half a barrel done, uh -huh. we said we should maybe, there might be, you know, this is not a hobby. It's, there, this is a for-profit business even though, you know, it's a winery. Uh, so we, we bottled it right away and we started selling it in July, July. June or July, <laughs> right around there. And, and, I, and, and, we, and Barbera is an Italian varietal that you do drink a little younger and a little fresher. So, great for your Thanksgiving dinner, by the way. Oh, there you go, you'll be set. So, one thing that um, I had the privilege to watch you do some of the winemaking, and you were talking about how you put your heart and soul into your wine. Mm -hmm. And when I came here with Michelle, she introduced me to you and to your winery, and that was the one thing that I noticed about uh, you and your brother, is that your passion for wine. Um, how did that all start out? Wow. 
I, I, I'm not sure I know. Oh, I'm, no. not sure, I'm not sure I know the answer to that. I think, I think that once I, I had a first career and, and in that first career I had to work in restaurants and things like that. And, mm -hmm. and as I tasted wine, at, at a point it became, for me, it became something that, well, this isn't what my father drinks. And, and this isn't what my, and wow, the, oh, and this tastes different than this. And this, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait white wine is really cool. And, and wow, this is really different. And then the more I learned, the more I wanted to learn. And, and it just became like it snowballed from there. And, and I, I, I honestly think that the only, the only talent I possess is, uh, is my palate. Uh, so, so being a sommelier to me was, was about service and about, and about tasting wine and about the, the perfect experience that you're trying to find in wine. Wine is special in that regard. It, it, it really begs you to, how can you not, if you, if you consider yourself a wine drinker, I don't know how you can not be passionate about it.